The New York Metropolitans returned from the All-Star break on Friday night with a loss to the San Diego Padres at City Field. However, the team added a new bat. Jacob deGrom could be back soon. And more moves are potentially on the horizon. So here with me to talk some New York Mets baseball is New York Post Mets beat reporter Mike Puma. Mike, good to see you. The Mets have acquired Daniel Vogelback from the Pirates for young reliever Colin Holderman. So is this a move that can help the team's issues at the DH spot? Yeah, this is certainly a, a move I think the Mets needed to make uh, to address that DH spot, especially now Dominic Smith goes down with the uh, sprain left ankle. Uh, you know, you were, you were starting Travis Blankenhorn in the DH spot last night. And uh, Vogelbach, he gives them a lefty bat. He hits righties extremely well, uh, has an OPS of uh, close to 900 against right-handed pitching. So, this will help address that spot. Now, we'll see what happens uh, with the other half of the equation. Do they stick with J.D. Davis here or, uh, you know, look, look to upgrade at the uh, with a right-handed bat at the other half of the D.H.? Be interesting to see what they do there. Now, in terms of pitching, Jacob DeGrom, he's not going to pitch against the Yankees in the upcoming Subway Series, but he's close to returning. So what's the latest, Mike, on the Mets' ace? And is the focus of the team having DeGrom ready for the stretch run here? Well, DeGrom is going to be at City Field on Sunday to, to work out in front of team officials. And then uh, it sounds like the plan is to get him another minor league rehab start in the middle of the week at some point. And uh, hopefully from there, he'll, he'll be ready to go. I, I think if you extrapolate a little bit you're looking at maybe uh when the Mets uh go to Washington on their next road trip that uh you know August 1st August 2nd somewhere in that neighborhood and yeah the the key here is to have DeGrom for the stretch run you want to have him uh you know if you, if you get him August 1st you want to have him straight through for the final two months of the regular season and and whatever comes beyond beyond that you don't want to rush him back here for the sake of just pitching against the Yankees so now, Mike, I think it would be unlikely that Vogelback would be the only Mets acquisition here before the August 2nd trade deadline. So will New York's focus be on trying to add Juan Soto's bat to bolster the lineup? And would adding Soto be the right move for the Mets here? Well, listen, Soto's one of the best players in baseball. If you can get him uh, at, at a price that you're willing to pay, you do it. But, you know, the other half of the equation is are the Nationals willing to deal with uh, within their own division. And uh, I have some questions whether, you know, whether uh, Mike Rizzo will, will trade Juan Soto to the Mets, all things being equal. But, hey, listen, if, if the Mets come up with by and far the best package, I, I think the Nationals might be foolish not to do it. Um, but, you know, right now, I, I don't think the Mets are holding their breath that they're going to get Juan Soto, at least not uh, before the trade deadline. But there's going to be some other moves. We're, we're going to see some... Uh, bullpen acquisitions and uh, like I said probably a, another bat here to address uh, uh, a, a right-handed bat. There are still moves to be made for the New York Mets that is New York Post Mets beat writer Mike Puma. Mike good to see you thanks for joining me and I'm sure we'll be talking a lot before the trade deadline. Thank you.